Hello guys, welcome to Ephraim TV. My name is Ephraim Hene. This is a very short one. So sometimes um, when you grow crops and they start to uh, flower, in order to get maximum productivity or in order to increase your uh, produce, you have to um, help in the pollination of the crops. That's what we call artificial pollination. So in the case of cucumber, for instance, you might not have all the uh, flowers blossom. So you might need to pollinate it yourself to help increase the produce or your crop production. So this is how you are going to do it. You are going to need uh, this brush, painter's brush, or you know the brush that ladies use for painting their nails and stuff. And then you are going to use it to help in um, pollinating the crops yourself. So cucumber is a unisex flowering plant. So it has both the male flower and the female flower on one plant. So your duty here is to find which one is the male and which one is the female so that you can hand pollinate it yourself. Normally in cucumber, you see that the female flower is small. You have few female flowers, but the male flowers are many. So in this case, this is what your female flower should look like. It has a miniature or a small cucumber-like fruit at the base and the flower at the top. So this is how you identify your uh, female flower. Same as you see in this picture. A small cucumber-like fruit at the base and the flower at the top. When the flower is pollinated, you will see that the flower begins to close up. I mean, the petals begin to close up. And that's how you know the flower has been pollinated. But as you can see in these widely open um, flowers of the female, it shows that it's not been pollinated. The male flower, however, is just a normal flower. As you can see in this video, it has nothing um, differentiating it from the female. This is just a flower uh, with pollen inside. The pollen grains are inside. And so um, that's how you differentiate between a male flower and a female flower of the cucumber. And like I said, as you can see in the video, the male flower are many. You have a lot of male flower, but the female flower, uh, just a few. And that's why you have to pollinate it yourself so that you can ensure you have maximum productivity. Because if any of the female is not pollinated and it goes to waste, it means that you are losing fruits. So this is how you do it. You use your brush to pick the pollen grains from the male flower and then you go to the female flower and then you deposit the fuel, uh, pollen grains still using your brush at the uh, just in the middle of the flower okay and so this is very important you use the brush you take the pollen grains from the male flower and then um, you take it to the female flower to deposit it from the male flower to the female flower to deposit it you can if, if you are not sure of how many or how um the pollen grains are you can even do two male flowers to one female flower to ensure that you can get a lot of um, pollen grains onto the female flower so that's how you pollinate your cucumber for maximum productivity thank you for watching this video see you again one another time on another video bye bye